got one. It's the G Project G Boom. Have you heard of this? It's a Bluetooth speaker. No, what's that? It, uh, I I decided I was only going to spend a hundred dollars on a Bluetooth speaker. Like I have to have one at work. Part of my job requires me to be out in a factory, and I listen to podcasts. I listen to talk radio, and when things are running, I've never found for that price point a hundred dollars a decent Bluetooth speaker. And it's uh, G Project G Boom. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it at Target. It's only a hundred bucks. It kicks butt it has is two it? woofers two tweeters that's it nice See the things in the back that last picture they're called uh like base cavities or something in the back right there yeah and it thumps it it's nice. really loud you can play it like at a high high volume and everything still sounds crystal clear it has uh usb it has controls right on the speaker or you can control them from your phone and it has also in the back there another like usb port so you can plug in your phone and charge it while you're streaming music or whatever Jeez, you're playing. That's crazy. And it was only a hundred bucks. It's only a hundred bucks and it's louder than anything in at target. It's next to the beats pill, the Dr. Dre beats pill. Yeah. You took us to the, you took that thing to the beach and we used it the entire vacation. If you see that construction, it's like rugged construction. You can drop it actually part <laughs> on the box. It says you can sit on it. What has a heavy duty that's handle? Like the like they really expect yeah. you to take this everywhere. <laughs> That's Ralph Mouth. Sit oh, on sorry. it. Sorry. I'm not as old as you. Fuck Get you. your happy sorry. days references together. <laughs> Dump That's out. Awesome. What's the no, battery life uh, like on it? For a hundred bucks, I just think this thing is so awesome. I went through so many trying to find one that was loud enough and clear enough and could survive, you know, in the car or go into the uh, where we take it to the beach, when we take it to the boat, in the factory. For me, it was like the best best hundred bucks I ever spent. Does does it really get about seven hours of battery life? With your phone charging on it, if you just Whoa. leave, if you charge it, you have to charge it um, AC. You have to charge it like at a wall outlet, mm-hmm. and it'll go for almost ten. But with your phone plugged in, it goes for about seven or eight hours. Nice. Yeah, see that thing on the side? You can like hook a bungee to that and, oh, and secure it to something. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Swing it off the back of a? <laughs> I want to strap it to my back. Well, when I'm mudding, sometimes it flies out the back. I need to tether it down to something. That's bungee amazing. Cords. Yeah. Yeah. I need a nice bungee cord place to hook with a Bluetooth speaker. Like, like, like what was the meeting where this became like a feature request? Yeah. Or the ones that come with like a carabiner or whatever Guys, those things are. The problem is these speakers are flying all around. Who's got ideas? Come on, spitball something. How do we tie these things down, people? A big stainless steel hook on the side? Done. Do it. <laughs> Call it the G Boom. That's I'm ready. Um, I do have it listed here at gprojectgear.com. I'm sure we can probably find it on Amazon. We'll have a link in the show notes as well. So awesome. I, that's great. Yeah, I have one of those Unibooms. It was like a freebie at some Verizon blogger event last year. And uh, and, and, and so that was my, my Bluetooth jump in point. And, oh, okay. uh, but this looks way, way more interesting than that is. And I think it's about the same price point too. So. Nice. I need one. I'm definitely you can't bungee look. cord yours. Down. I can't bungee cord. I can maybe wrap a bungee around the thing. Yeah, what are you going to tie you know, yours down to? <laughs> I mean, they're like, well, this thing doesn't work. It slips out. My bungee <laughs> slips off of it. And we just have all kinds of problems. And yours fits in a cup holder. Mine, fit, mine fits. It kind of fits in the cup holder. Not really. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just like, you know, I, I, I was tired. It, it's just, it's my car stereo right now. Because <laughs> for the older car that doesn't have the crazy Bluetooth stuff on it, I, I'm just like, I'm tired of it. I'm not doing this radio stuff. I'm just going to yeah. stick this on top of the cup holder and Bluetooth to it. And I I'm... figured it out. Hmm. This is what it's for. It's what? for people like us. We're podcasters. Let's strap this thing to the roof of the car. Play our show really loud. Oh, like like... those old school, like in uh, where they drive around with the giant speaker on um, the roof. I like and... Mayor Goldie <laughs> Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> It, the best part of that entire movie, and I'm the only person who knows this, I swear to God, is when they're going around the town, there's a movie theater when they're back in, what, the 50s or whatever. And what and movie's the playing? The movie is playing is called The the Cattle Queen of Montana. <laughs> <laughs> I wow. think it holds up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, she was great. She was the queen of cattle. Yeah. She, I mean, she was killing it, if basically, in Montana. cattle, yeah. you got control of the beef and the milk and cheese situation. <laughs> Uh, right. <laughs> I think we just crossed podcasts here. So. <laughs> Sorry. See, that's how our show goes. That's fine.